everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this really neat little sanitary product pouch that you can just toss in your purse, and it has a place for tampons, and it has a place for your pads, and a cam snap to keep it closed. Super simple to make. It is a beginner sewing project that anyone with basic sewing skills can make in no time. This project is really simple. Um, it looks far more complicated than it is, but uh, we're going to walk you step by step on how to make this terrific little sanitary pouch. Now, if you like this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications so that you can get more sewing and crafting tutorials in your inbox. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials that are not here on the YouTube channel, head over to my website at www.soverycrafty.com and you will find loads and loads of more stuff over there that you won't find here. Also, I have a new website called paperdaisy.com if you're into Cricut crafting. So head over there if you like Cricut and paper crafts because that's what you'll find there. Now, how do we get started on how to make this terrific little sanitary napkin and tampon pouch? Well, we only need a couple of pieces of fabric for this. We are going to need some outer fabric and some lining fabric. And we are going to need a cam snap. And cam snaps come in two parts. There's sort of a male part and a female part and two things that look like a thumbtack. From your outer fabric and your lining fabric, you are going to cut two long pieces that measure 13 inches long by five and a half inches wide. And then you're going to cut the pocket pieces. And the pocket pieces all measure the same uh, measurements. They are five and an eighth by seven and an eighth, and that's for both the outer and the lining. You will also need some fusible fleece, or you could, if you want something that's a little less fluffy, you could probably use some SF-101 on this, um, but I used fleece for mine. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to fuse your fleece pieces and they are going to be cut in the same dimensions as your outer pocket pieces and your outer uh, main outer piece. And you're just going to fuse those uh, fleece pieces onto the outer fabric pieces. So whichever fabric you decide you want on the outside is where you are going to fuse your fleece. And just follow the manufacturer's instructions for that. Now we need to get started to make our pocket pieces. And our pocket pieces are made a little bit differently for each item. So, but the first thing we're going to do for both of these items is we are going to place the lining piece and the outer piece right sides together. And we are going to stitch along the top using a one quarter inch seam allowance. Once we've done that, we are going to flip this so that the lining pieces are right sides out and the outer pieces are right sides out. And then we're just going to top stitch along the top. 
I'm going to head over to the sewing machine. I'm going to take care of that. I'm not going to show it on the video because it's just one straight line across and one top stitching line across. And I'll be right back. Okay, now we have our pocket pieces stitched together so that we have our lining right side out, our outer fabric right side out, and our top stitching along the top. And if I didn't mention, we're using a quarter inch seam allowance for this. And we are stitching this on the seven and eighth inch side. So the long side and not the short side. Now we're going to start to put our pocket pieces onto our project. And we have uh, two different ways that we are doing this. Now, the first thing we need to do for the pad side of our pocket piece is we are going to measure one inch from the, the short raw edge and just draw a line. So I'm just going to draw a line one inch. And then we're going to move over another half an inch from there. And draw another line. And I'm going to do that to the other side as well. So one inch and then an additional half inch. And I'm using Taylor's chalk here because my fabric is black, but you could use a heat erasable pen or something like that if you want to. Now that we have our two lines, we need to make these into pleats. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to fold this half inch line like that, and then fold back the one inch line like that, to create a pleat. And I'm just going to grab some clips here, and I'm going to clip that on. So the two lines should end up meeting. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. And make sure that your lining is straight because it tends to get a little skewed if you're not careful. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to place the, this pocket piece onto one side of our outer long piece with the raw edges aligning. And you will see that it makes it into a puffy little pocket here so that uh, we have space to put in our pads when we insert them. And then we're going to attach this on the bottom as well. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch along the bottom so that this piece is secure on the bottom using a about 1 8 inch seam allowance um, just 
just to tack this on so that it's stable and I can take off these uh, these uh, clips. And you can attach the sides if you want to, but I would use nothing more than a 1 8 inch seam allowance because we don't want this to show through when we are finished with our project. Now that I have done this, I am going to add one half of my cam snap to the bottom of just the pocket piece. You don't want to go all the way through. I probably should have done that before I added the pocket, but it's easier this way once it's stitched on. Um, if you've never added a cam snap, it is a very easy process. When you order the kit, it comes with this cam snap setter and all and some other tools. And what we're going to do is we are going to measure up one and a quarter inches from the bottom in the center. And I always find the best way to find the center is just fold it in half. So one and a quarter inches from the center and I'm going to just make a little mark there. And I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to make a hole right there. I'm going to take. Once the thumbtack part is placed into the black part of the setter, just press down on the setter and it will crunch the plastic overhang, if you will, inside the cam snap and it will become secure. And that's all there is for the pad part of our project today. Now let's head over and do our tampon part of our project. And we are going to fold our pocket piece in half so that we can find the center. And I'm just going to make a little mark here because you won't be able to see it on the video. And then we're going to find the center of our bottom, part of our main piece. And again, I'm going to make a little line there so you can see it. And we are going to line up these lines and draw a straight or stitch a straight line right down the center. And that's all there is to do for this part of the project um, is stitch a straight line. So I'm just gonna head over to the sewing machine, stitch a straight line down here, and we'll finish it up. Now that we have stitched our project down the center, Again, we're going to make some pleats, but they're a little bit different than the pleats that we made for the other side. What we're going to do is we are going to match the, our raw edges on the side, on both sides of our project here. Now you'll see these two bumps in the middle and we're just going to press them down in the center of each side. And that's going to make a pleat and we'll just put a, a clip at the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just press down the center 
it'll make a small pleat. Then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch along the bottom just like we did on the other side so that we can secure this uh, for our next step. Now that we have created our tampon pocket, we need to add the other half of our cam snap. Again, we're going to measure up one and a quarter inches from the bottom, make a mark, use our awl, and add our cam snap. And that's all there is to that. And now we are going to finish up this project by placing our, what turns out to be our outer piece because I wasn't paying attention and place my outer piece as the lining. So we'll use this instead. And we're just gonna clip all the way around. And we want to make sure that all of these raw edges are aligned. There we go. So once we have done this, we are going to stitch all the way around, leaving an opening here in the middle so that we can turn this right sides out. And for this, I'm going to use about a 3 8 inch seam allowance, just to make sure that I get all of these raw edges enclosed. So let's head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around and we will move on to our next step. Okay, now that we have stitched all the way around our project, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna clip these corners to get rid of all this bulk and to hopefully make them nice and crisp. Now we're going to turn our project right sides out. There we have our project, but we have our opening so the next thing we are going to do is press this and head back over to the sewing machine and just top stitch all the way around so that we can close up this opening as we go and we can um, finish off these pleats as well. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's do that. So there you have it. That's all there is to this project. I wish it was the other way around. Um, you just snap the cam snap together. After you've put your project products in and you are finished. So now I have two of these. And as I said, you can put three tampons oops, in one side, some pads in the other side, fold it together, snap it, toss it in your purse, you're ready to go. And that's all there is for this project today. I hope you enjoyed it. Makes great uh, gifts for young girls, bridal gifts, 
you know, whatever you want to give it as, it uh, is a nice thing to have so that your stuff is not rattling around in your purse. So that's all there is for today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and head over to the website at www.soberrycrafty.com for more sewing and crafting tutorials, and I will see you all next time. Bye!